Hello everyone and welcome to the show today. I am coming to you from Lakeside Hotel in Tanapa in Calabar. So my guest today, she needs no introduction. She's a veteran in the entertainment industry. She's worked with practically everyone. She's an actress, she's a producer, she's a humanitarian, and um, she's about to become a politician. <laughs> Guys, I have here with me the lovely, the amazing, the wonderful Kate Henshaw. How are you? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because I knew, I mean, the other introductions you did were fine. And when you said politician, everyone would just know that. Ah, ah, it's her. It's her. her. <laughs> so this is home for you. This is my home. Yeah, I, 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 I didn't grow up here. I grew up in Lagos. But I went to school here, Federal Government Girls College, Calabar. And I was in Unical for one year. So this is, this is my home. My parents are here, my family, my uncles, my aunties. I got married here when I did my traditional wedding. So this is home, actually. <laughs> Before the fame, before the fortune, let's talk a little bit about young baby Kate. Uh, Tell us about baby Kate. Baby Kate was very quiet. You know, really? when people see me, they're like, Kate, you must have been very troublesome. I'm like, no, I was quiet. You can ask my mom, because she always said, oh, I never cried. She didn't know when I was hungry. <laughs> you know, I was just a very nice, cute, cuddly baby. Oh, very nice. fat. I had, I wish I had the picture. I had folds. <laughs> oh, wow. I sat there, I looked like a Michelin, Michelin baby. baby. Yeah. <laughs> well fed. I love that. I love that. <laughs> Did you have any kind of family traditions growing up? Uh, well, the only tradition that was instilled in me was from my mother. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember one day she came and pulled my ear up and said, "Don't you know you're a woman? No man will marry you if you can't cook." Okay, this is nice. Try. Thank you. We are from Calabar. We are dressed. Here we go. Eter, so oh, I can wow. cook. I can pound, I can grind on the mortar. Okay. You know, we had this marble mortar mm -hmm. we used to grind pepper I on. Remember that? I can do a goosey, eggman cocoa, the cocoa yam, grate it. I can do everything. Okay, I think I might need to go over to her house to, for some cooking lessons because, <laughs> you know, being in Calabar, Calabar dishes are amazing. They so are I might awesome. have to Fresh I have to come over and, and learn some things. Tell us about your first audition. I don't ever think I'll forget it. I never studied theater arts. I'm a medical microbiologist. I just knew that I loved films. I, my memory was good for lines because I remember old adverts. I would be repeating it as they played on TV. <laughs> and then I happened to do some modeling. I shot my first TV commercial for Shield Children advert in 1990. And then you meet people when you're modeling, you go for castings. Mm -hmm. So I met the late JT Tom West. He actually invited me for, for the audition. I'm like, what's an audition? So I went with him to, um, I think it was Old Ojor Road, somewhere far away, opposite Festac or so. And we went, went to this huge building, and I could see people I'd seen on TV, on Ripples, oh, Palace. Uh -huh. And I was in all of them. <laughs> Rich and Mufedanjo, <laughs> Brother Brown, you know. The place was full. So they just gave me a, a paper to write down my name. I think I was number 100 and something. Oh my goodness. So I waited. And I waited and waited and waited because I didn't know I was going to stay that long. I said, JT, I'm going downstairs. I'll have some biscuit, okay biscuit, that time. <laughs> and then Reginald Eberre comes downstairs. I didn't know who he was. He was obviously one of the people on the panel doing the audition. Um, Reginald, Opa Williams, Maduchi Kwendu. I think there were four or five people, guys, all guys. Mm. Then they called in myself, Sandra Trims, Victoria and Yama, and one other lady lined us up and for me they said um, your sister just told you she's a prostitute react huh. no lines uh, <laughs> I stood there I didn't know what was expected of me so I just started crying uh, you mean you're a prostitute then I said okay 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 thank you and then two weeks later I get a note JT is the same one who comes to inform me that oh I'm needed near that place where is it Ojodu this time wow. because it was Hints who actually produced the first movie Hints okay. True Tales Publications that was the first movie um, When the Sun Sets okay so I went there started going for the reading reading every day and then they started whittling down people and then just be a week before the film was actually about to start um, the owner Dr. Ibe Kachiku, I remember everybody, mm -hmm. said to me, oh, I really like your reading, you did very well, but I've been told that your face will not sell my movies. Wow. So I, I, I would like you to pick, play the supporting role. There's another lady who, me, what do I know? <laughs> I'm okay with it, no problem. So I left, I'm happy that, oh, excited, mm -hmm. I don't know what's going to happen. 
And then on the day of the cast party, we were in his house by the swimming pool because it was his house was the main location for okay. my character's house. And the director stood up and said, Kate, you're playing the lead role of Omono. And then I'm like, e lead role, you gave me a script so fat. <laughs> you have to learn your lines and but thank God for people like Bob Manuel. Bob Manuel mm -hmm. Udoku actually like took me under his wing. Mm -hmm. I rehearsed with him. I spent a lot of time with him. We became very close friends. And he literally helped me through it. And of course, Sandra. Hey, she's my girl any day. <laughs> and, and that was it. The first time they said cry, I'm like, God. <laughs> but I happened to do it so well. So, and that was it. After that, people kept on calling. We went to do more. So and how why. many people are you going to help? How many people? I was a crying girl. Well, any <laughs> film you want yep. crying, put it inside. Yep. Of course. Coming up next on EO Now. Um, I have a baby out of wedlock, which no one knows. Kept it really quiet. Um, I actually, actually hate the camera. You're making the transition from being a movie star <laughs> to being a politician. Can you can you can you just tell us about that um, and why you decided to do that? Huh, transition. It, well, I, I, I would say it's a transition. I would say this journey I've undertaken, it's a whole different lifetime. Mm. I had no idea what it was all about. All I knew is that I wanted to to do more for my people. I wanted to do good, to continue to work. But yeah, people will say, oh, you don't have to join politics, but this is what I say. Politics affects every part of our life, our businesses, our personal lives, our children. People can come together and make a law that will actually turn things around for you, either for good or for, for worse. So I felt, okay, I've been in the forefront of causes, be it um, violence against women and children. I was at the Occupy Nigeria, raising mm -hmm. my fees at the lucky toll, you know, anything that yeah. I feel is not fair to people. I mean, it's not as if I cannot afford it, but you need to be able to, for me, use who you have to be able to affect somebody, even if it's one person at a time. So for me, the politics is not about the money, it's about using a bigger platform to do more if I am given the chance. So that was basically my, my thought. I went in, all my energy, yes, but <laughs> Two months down the line, I have mm. been educated mm. on how things should be. But it's not deterred me. I'm not someone who quits. I'm going to take it to the very end. Godspeed. <laughs> Thank you. Godspeed. And continue. <laughs> okay. So let's just play around a little bit and just have some fun. Do you know the game Two Truths and a Lie? No. No. It's for young people, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a fun icebreaker game. Hey, let's go. So I want you to tell me. You're gonna Two think about. And, a lie. and I'm gonna try to figure out which one is the lie. Huh. So okay. let's see how creative your your imagination is right huh. now. So tell me, you tell me three things. Two of them will be true. One of them will be a lie, and I'll try to figure out which one is the lie. I should just say it. Yes. Just give me three three sentences or things about yourself. Um, I have a baby out of wedlock, which no one knows kept it really quiet. Um, I actually, actually hate the camera. Okay. Absolutely. And um, I'm just, um, I love my job, but I hate the camera. Okay. So I know you love your job. Yes. So that is, that's the truth. You do you have a baby. It was not, you have a child, not a baby. She's looking, I'm scared. The, the look she's giving me right now, I'm, I'm terrified. I don't know. I don't believe it was out of wedlock. But Can the you answer? You hate the game. <laughs> okay, I would have to go with hating the camera. Is that a lie? No. No. Uh -uh. no. Yeah. Yeah, I love the camera. Of course. Hello. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whew. I was scared. No, you guys. I was scared for a second. I was actually scared there for a second. <laughs> I knew it. I was I scared. I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna get I me. I knew it. So this is what it feels like to be Winner. interviewed. Oh. 
I am such a winner. Oh, oh, I love like to brag, but it's okay. I love you. Put it right so there, baby. Fun. <laughs> but thank you so much for stopping by. I had a blast. A I just, just want to keep talking to you. It's been so much fun. But hopefully we'll see you some other time. Cool. <laughs> Put it there. Wait, is this how the cool kids say hi these days? What is this? I've never done this I before. just made it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> that, yeah. I was like, I don't know the sign. Thumbs up, side, thumbs It's a thing. Kate sign. Okay, Kate sign. All right, all right. <laughs> Okay, guys, that's all the time we have on the show today. Go out there, have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.